Hi everybody and welcome back to our channel for beauty, lifestyle and vlogs. If you are new here, please do hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications to join the family and to see our videos first. So I promised you in the last video a little bit of a tech update and I wanted this video to kind of show you what you can have if you're a YouTuber and kind of things that you don't need but also things that you might want to get to sort of up what you're doing just that little bit more. And all of the links for everything that I'm going to talk about today will be in the description bar below, so let's take a little look. So realistically, you only need three things to start recording on YouTube, and they are something that records, i.e. your iPhone or a camera, an internet connection, and something you're passionate about. So I started using a camera that I had at home. I already owned a computer, so I was using iMovie to start off with before moving on to Final Cut Pro. And now I use Adobe Premiere CC, and I will link all of those different applications below. But you don't even need a computer, you can start this on your phone. I know that there are some um, editing apps that you can do right on your phone. And I just used to use a plain white background because I didn't want sort of the mess of my bedroom that I was in at the time to be showing. And now I kind of like to show you more of my living space. I will link my previous video down below because I had a different camera at that time, probably a little bit of a different lighting setup and sound, but I'm just gonna jump straight into showing you all of the tech that I use now. So for vlogging, I use the Canon G7X Mark II, and I did used to have the original G7X, dropped it on the floor a bunch of times, smashed the screen, and the last time I did, it just, it didn't start working again. So I have binned that one and kept the charger and the battery, which is really good because now I can use it in this one. But this is great because it's a flip screen. I have two handles, the one from the old one and this one, purely because I'm such a klutz. So basically all I do is I put the two on my wrist whilst I'm vlogging because I don't trust myself basically. But if you are able to get your hands on one of these, this is a great point and shoot camera, really good settings on it. And I've even used this one sometimes when my batteries run out on my big camera to sit there and film a main video. So just before I talk about the rest of the kit here, I did want to show you these which are called mini muffs. They are great. Um, they come with a little Velcro fastening which you can place onto the top of your camera and I've got one because the wind noise was absolutely terrible outside when I was using my camera outside. So this really helps a lot when I am vlogging outside. So I'm going to jump on over onto this camera now just so I can show you the setup that I've got in front of me. Okay, so this is currently what my setup looks like in front of me and I've also got what I'm filming on my big camera on here. So this is a great app. If you do use a Canon camera, then you can autofocus, um, you can choose different points of focus and you can press record or stop record, which is really, really handy when you're sat filming yourself. So before I even talk about the camera that I've got in front of me, the most important thing I always think is the lighting and these two softbox lights I've had since I started YouTube and they were from eBay, super, super cheap, which I will link below. They came with the stands and with the bulbs that are inside. These are great because they're diffused lights, so it just makes it not as harsh on your face. I then, I always choose this room now purely because the lighting is fantastic. So I always pop on the two large lights. I have to pull the blind down because it's, it's too bright in the background, but I do put on a little light as sort of a, um, sort of accent light in the back background. I do also have a, another light upstairs, which is a Manfrotto for days when it's super dark outside and we're getting no light in here at all. Um, or for example, in the middle of winter when there's no light, that's what I like to use then. It's just that extra light to light the whole room. So this is what these look like from the back. They are rather large, but to be honest with you, I've tried just using my Manfrotto light because it's smaller, but these are what give the best all around lighting. Okay, then let's go over to, let's start with the tripod because this I think is not actually the tripod that I used to use. I will show you that that went upstairs. This is one which came with possibly one of the lights or possibly with a green screen that I've got. Um, and I've just attached it to here. It was a little more stable than the one I've got upstairs because what I've got up here now is quite heavy. This is a slider 
um, which I wouldn't recommend for using on top of here actually I'm probably going to take it off um, but this is a great tabletop slider so this section here these are little feet and it makes the camera really really smooth for when you are sliding back and forth to get those shots but as I said I wouldn't recommend it for anything other than being sat on a tabletop I, it tends to sort of go like this so it sort of goes up at this angle and then jolts and goes down on the other side I don't know why what I've used this for at the moment is I've just used it as an extra support I suppose I've clipped it into place so it doesn't go anywhere but this thing here is actually worth getting so this is an Andoa um, ball head joint and it's really easy it's got a plate so it's really easy for everything to slide off and on and it moves sort of all the way around it's got a little markers how dusty is that wowzers um, it's got little markers as well on the top and yeah so as I said it can go up down around and it's just a great ball joint I think okay so this then is a boom mic that I have created which to be honest with you probably cost me hardly anything. I will show you the price on screen when I figure that out for you. Um, but this is the mic that I already had and it is the Rode VideoMic Pro. I would love to get the Pro Plus because it turns on and off automatically when you're recording. And many a time I've left this recording or not turned it on at all and then my audio is pants. Um, this on top of it then is just a little Velcro um, windbreak really. So. It's called a dead cat of all the names and does the same kind of thing as those little minimus that I said that I've put on top of this camera. So basically all I had to do was get the right little pin, can't remember what it's called, thing here for it to go into and a wire. So this is the original wire from the Rode mic and then this one here goes all the way along. I've just wrapped it, it's super, super long and then goes into my camera. And that's showing you there, it's an Amazon Basics one. So it's a super, super cheap one, um, but makes the audio so, so much better. So onto my beautiful camera. This is a new camera and I'm so excited guys. This is one I've been craving after for a super long time and I've waited and waited to get. But I went from, my first camera I had was a Canon Kiss. I think that's a like Rebel T something in here, but I got it from online. Um, it was Trooper. <laughs> that was the first one that I had. And then I went on to the Canon 80D as an upgrade, which was a really good upgrade. But I really wanted something to be able to do a lot more slow-mo. I wanted better quality video, which I could slow right down so the frames per second were a lot better. Um, and that's why we have gone for the 5D Mark IV. Four. and the lens that I've got because I traded in a few lenses with my camera in order to be able to get this one is the Canon zoom lens and this is the EF 24 to 70 millimeter lens just put the lens cap back on it kind of freaks me out when it's left off and then there's this thing which you definitely do not need I would say if you are progressing from moving on from like a camera phone and just the camera I would definitely next get the lighting and then after that, get the microphone. You don't need the rest of this stuff, but this, these are like extra things which I've built on as the time has gone by and as my passion for it has grown a little bit more and it's become a really good hobby of mine. So um, this then is a reflector, which I kind of want to use more for sort of photography to get certain looks on things. Um, and it's just a reflect light because sometimes the lighting is just naff. But anyway, let me show you up close. So this is the gold side. You've then got this, which is a diffuser for light then, which is great. Um, and on the inside, you've also got the black, a silver, and then just a straight sort of daylight diffuser here. Okay, this is then the Manfrotto Spectra 1x1 FT. And this is amazing because it's so lightweight and you can not only change the amount of light but you can change whether you've got warm light or cool light and then this was the very first tripod that um is still absolutely fantastic because it's so sturdy it was 14.99 if i can find this one i will link it i'm not sure if i will be able to find it um but really really good just not quite good enough at the moment for my current camera with the lens on top hi bunnies hello there 
You made an awful mess this morning on my floor, didn't you? We now have a clean bed. This is then the little setup that I've made to sort of organise everything. Um, and my camera sits in here with my vlogging camera in front of it. So I will zoom in and show you all of these little bits. So starting from the bottom up, I like to keep all of the boxes underneath because I have always upgraded my camera each time, so traded it in. And I like to keep everything here ready to sort of sell on or trade in. So I would be doing that with my Apple Watch, but look what the bunnies have done. I learnt my lesson. So I've created a little charging station at the bottom here. So we've got iPhone and like Apple products for like Apple Pencil and things like that and we then got two chargers for the G7X which we are on now and then this charger is then the one for the Canon 5D we've then got the drone charger and then um, what is this one I can't even remember what this one is um, but we've got some extra plug sockets available if we need them this shelf then is a GoPro shelf. So I use the GoPro Hero 5 and this is not the session, this is just the GoPro Hero 5 black. Did they do it in any other color? I don't know anymore. And um, this, if I, you follow me, uh, Christmas time I saw a pack which was an absolutely amazing pack which the majority of this stuff came out of and it was $9.99 it's probably gone up in price now because it was a special deal but I will link that as well and um, so we have got loads of different mounts here for all different things like handlebars things like that um, little clip mount, suction mounts, um, a chest mount, a wrist mount, literally like all of this stuff, I can believe it was like 9 99 This was in here, there as well, a floaty one, got a mini, what is this? It's like a Joby, a little Joby and I've just put a little mount on top of that. Kind of like a selfie stick thing there that goes absolutely massive. This then didn't come with it. This is something that I bought a long time ago. Okay, I need two hands for this. Um, but this is sort of like an arm that goes out, a big arm. And the bottom of it then comes out and forms a little tripod. We then got a chest mount that did come with it. And, oh, sorry, that's a head mount, not a chest mount. And then this is one that we originally had. So we've got two chest mounts now. So on to the top shelf, this. Sorry if the bunny's making loads of noise. This I would love to put under here, but I don't have any more space to put it, so it's living there for now. That's just the box for my lens. And uh, we have got, let's start from this side, um, some large Joby Gorilla Pod grips. This was the um the mini muff that I said I'd go on top of the camera. Um, an egg timer, which is great, which I learned from the Michelax. Um, you place your vlogging camera on top and it does sort of a great panorama if you're doing like time lapses. We then got a suction mount for the car, a light, which I don't use because it is absolutely terrible, guys. Sorry, Manfrotto, but it is pants. But this underneath it is great, which I bought separately, which is a double hot shoe mount so if you've got like a mic on the one side and then you light on the other but I don't know if the batteries are still working here because I haven't used this in ages whoops but I don't know the light on it I find isn't that great it just doesn't I don't know not as great and purposeful as I thought it might be probably really great for other people just not for me we've then got the DJI Phantom Mavic Maverick, Mavic, I always say it wrong, but um, yeah, that is the one. I sold my Phantom 4 because I wasn't using it, it was too big, whereas this you can literally grab and go. I've then got my 50mm lens, um, and you've got some lens hoods here, and a lens bag at the back there. And before I tell you what that is and these things, sorry India's going crazy downstairs, this is something called a katana, which is amazing. If you don't own a gimbal, you can make use of the three axis gimbal on your on your Mavic. So basically this sits on the Mavic and you can use this then two-handed and just utilize the camera so it's not flying, you're just using it for steady shots, I suppose. This then is a little controller, which I haven't used with my camera. Um, I might see if it works, if it actually links with my one now. This is super, super old, but this is what I used to use before I used the app on my iPhone. This then is a variable ND filter, so really, really great if you're going outside. 
um, and I'll show you exactly what it does to the front of your camera so you can just change the amount that you can see through so it's really great for creating different looks when you're outside really handy above the bunny stuff <laughs> these are the clips then that I had on the mic and something else downstairs or on the slider and um, these are just great they're really really hard and just useful for lots of things and then before I show you my last few things on the floor here this is an EFS 18 to 55 millimeter lens this doesn't work with my current camera now so I need to sell it if anyone would like this one let me know so these are the last items that we have here this is a pouch for the filters for the front of your camera this one does not fit my 82 millimeter one which is really upsetting well i say it doesn't fit it fits it goes in there but it comes up to here so you cannot fold it over and still do up I basically wouldn't be able to fit any more filters in there if I put two 82 millimeters in there. So I might just keep this one for if I get any step up rings in the future for anything, for any other lenses. Um, I liked the blue inside, but serves me right for going for a cheap one, I suppose. But yeah, I will link, link this one for if you use any other kind of filters, but not recommended for the 82 millimeter. Then I've got this here which is for batteries so I'd like to obviously get um, some more for my 5D but here we've just got an extra battery camera for this camera that I'm on now and I did have a battery for my mic as well in here but I just recently put that into the camera um, yeah so hopefully a few more batteries to come and then the last one, which actually really, really pleases my organisationalness. I'm going to have to use two hands to open this. So this is one of these stupid things that you can run over or something like that, and it's amazing. <laughs> so this is so clever because it fits so many things on top of it. So my camera, my large camera, the, uh, the actual memory card fits on top of here. This is how big the one memory card is so it sits on top so not only can you fit in all of the little ones but you can fit these ones on top and then you can fit the big ones on top so it's like layers upon layers it is amazing what you can fit into here so this is what i currently have in here apart from having one inside here and then two different memory cards one like this and a large one inside my other camera because the 5d is a dual memory card camera so the last two things then i have a lacy i was sick of use losing my footage and things like that um just my memory cards are naff which is why i've now got so many um yeah so i've got a lacy this is a four terabyte and then we have this because the memory card like i said is so huge in my other camera that i needed something that's the size of it um i need something to be able to go into the back of this i also have a screen here which is like not connected to the tv or anything um with a hdmi that can go into my camera I was hoping to use this as like an external screen for when I do makeup, but the lighting in here is so bad. So I don't know, I might try and put that on some kind of stand downstairs to try and see if I can use that as an external screen, but I might not be able to. Okay guys, I really hope that was helpful today. Remember that all of the links for everything that I've talked about are in the description bar below. Hit that subscribe button before you leave and join the family. But thank you for joining me today. I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you in the next one.